Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on inflammation and wound healing. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 1. Severe generalized edema is called as Option A. Pitting edema B. Mix edema C. Anasarka D. Dependent edema Right answer is Option C. Anasarka When edema is massive and generalized, it is called as anasarca. It is caused by a variety of clinical conditions like heart failure, renal failure, liver failure, or problems with the lymphatic system. The swelling is mainly caused by abnormal retention of body fluids in extracellular space and body tissues. Next question. Cytokines are secreted by Option A. Neutrophils B. B. Lymphocytes C. Endothelial cells D. All of the above Right answer is Option D. All of the above Cytokines are secreted by neutrophils, endothelial cells and B. Lymphocytes Next question. An opening of surgical wound edges is called Option A. Wound evisceration B. Wound rupture C. Wound approximation D. Wound dehiscence Right answer is Option D. Wound dehiscence Wound dehiscence is a surgical complication in which a wound ruptures along a surgical incision. It may be due to too tight suturing or loose improper suturing, sneezing and coughing. Next question. Diffuse purulent inflammation of a tissue is called Option A. Abscess B. Cellulitis C. Boils D. Ulcers Right answer is Option B. Cellulitis Cellulitis is a bacterial infection of underlying layers of the skin and the site of infection turns red with swelling and pain. It can be purulent or non-purulent. Cellulitis is diffuse whereas abscess is localized. Next question. Which of the following increases vascular permeability during acute inflammation? Option A. Histamine B. Cytokines C. AFP D. Both A and B Right answer is Option D. Both A and B Histamine and cytokines increases vascular permeability during acute inflammation. Next question. Which of the following substance increases the sensitivity of pain receptors by enhancing the pain provoking effect of bradykinin. Option A. Nociceptor B. Endorphins C. Prostaglandins D. Encephalin Right answer is Option C. Prostaglandins High levels of prostaglandins are produced in response to injury or infection and cause inflammation, which is associated with the symptoms of redness, swelling, pain and fever. This is an important part of the body's normal healing process. 
Next question. What is the mechanism behind the characteristic feature of acute inflammation? Option A. Redness and pain. B. Pancytopenia. C. Vasodilatation and increased vascular permeability. D. Spongy bone marrow. Right answer is Option C. Vasodilatation and increased vascular permeability. The mechanism behind the characteristic feature of acute inflammation is Vasodilatation and increased vascular permeability. Next question. Which of the following is a substance that decreases pain transmission and causes an inflammatory response? Option A. Substance P. B. Endorphin. C. Prostaglandins. D. Histamine. Right answer is option B. Endorphin. Endorphin decreases pain transmission and causes an inflammatory response. Next question. The inflammatory or exudative phase of wound healing will last for option A. 1 year, B. 1 to 4 days. C. 21 days to a month. D. 5 to 20 days. Right answer is option B. 1 to 4 days. The inflammatory or exudative phase of wound healing is from onset of wound that is day 1 to day 4. Healing actions in this stage include clot formation to arrest bleeding, migration of inflammatory cells to the site of wound, neutralization of bacteria by macrophages and WBC, and secretion of growth factors and cytokines. Next question. Complications of wound healing is Option A. Infection and suppuration B. Hypertrophic scar or calloid formation C. Contracture D. All of the above Right answer is Option D. All of the above The complications of wound healing includes infection and suppuration, contracture, hypertrophic scar or calloid formation. Next question Characteristic of Wet gangrene is Option A. Venous obstruction is there. B. It is invariably followed by bacterial infection. C. It is most commonly seen in the bowel. D. All of the above. Right answer is Option D. All of the above. In wet gangrene, venous obstruction is present and it is followed by bacterial infection. Wet gangrene is most commonly seen in the bowel. Next question. What is the most appropriate nursing intervention while treating a laceration? Option A. Monitor blood pressure. B. Elevate the body part. C. Apply pressure dressing and heat. D. Apply pressure dressing and ice pick. Right answer is Option D. Apply pressure dressing and ice pick. For the management of laceration, apply direct pressure over the wound to stop bleeding and apply ice on the wound every 15 to 20 minutes. Ice helps prevent tissue damage and decreases swelling and pain. So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.